hi everybody Mopsy here again and I've had a couple of people asking me how they can create something similar to a patch where they want the name and rather than a square patch they want it like arched over or arched under so um, this video is just going to be a help for them to show them how I would approach this. I'm not saying it's the right way or the wrong way, it's just the way I would do it. So here goes, I'm going to open a new hoop and I'm going to go straight into my drawing package and create a new bitmap and it's asking me for the size. I'm going to do it like 5.5 .5 inches wide and to be honest I'm not quite sure on the height so for now I'm just going to go 2 inches on the height and say OK and zoom in to 100% so I can see what I'm doing and they are not wanting to do an applique they just need to use that for the satin border around the outside um, and they also want it arched over but at this point uh, I'm not going to do the arch shape in the drawing package it's much easier to do in uh, once it's gone through auto punch so all I'm going to do here is come down and select my color in this case blue with the right and the left mouse I'm coming up here to my rectangle and I'm going to select the filled rectangle with no outline and I'm just going to drag uh, a box out there we go and that's all I'm going to do at this stage now had they wanted this field and then to have the name on top I would select a different color with my right and left mouse and I would add the text here I would um, I might as well just leave this one here test and here we go and so I would leave that here that way when it goes through auto punch the blue background will have a gap left in it f to allow the text to go in with the um, in, in with the stitching as part of it rather than having I'm going to undo that rather than having a filled blue area and then text on top which would be um, very very dense at this at that point and on top of that, um, it will probably cause problems, um, hard work for the machine to get through it. So you only really want like a single layer of stitching, unless the underlay is really fine, but that's something to go into later. So this is all I'm going to, to do. And I'm going to close it, save changes to image, and I'm not going to bother naming it. I'm just going to say OK, because I know it will come straight on the screen. And I'm going to go straight into Create an auto punch and there's the rectangle I want and at this stage I'm just going to finish because I don't care at this stage any about any of the settings because I'm going to be changing them all so there we have it on screen I'm going to come in a bit closer and let's view it realistic so that's all I've created just is just a rectangle now I'm going to come into my outline edit I'm going to come into my embroidery settings under design on the menu. I'm going to go into my stitch type tab and I'm going to drag down the last option which is applique. And as I said, they're only using the applique option to get the satin or the overlock stitches around the outside of this patch type item. So um, we don't want a first hold down line because we're not going to actually have any fabric we're going to be laying down. We do want overlock stitches, density of 3, the width 20, I'm going to change that to, to 30 but that's something that you can play with after and I'm going to apply that and so there we have just the satin border that we want which is perfect so I'm going to close this box and I'm going to say stitch it. There we go, and then come out of my outline edit. So there we have the box which we now need to arch over. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to view my grid. That's just going to bring up the grid in the background so I can see better um, what I'm doing. And then I now need to go back to the outline edit. And I need to lift up the um, 
top line, so I'm coming right into the centre, so I get it equal, and I'm going to lift it up by half an inch. My grid settings, I believe, are quarter inch increments. So you won't be able to see this, but when I hover my mouse over this line, there is like a curve um, graphic that shows, and at that point I press and hold down my left mouse key and just drag this up, and I'm just going to drag it up half an inch, release it, and then come up and say stitch it. And so there it's arched the top, now I'm going to come down the bottom, and the same thing when my um, cursor turns into a curve, I'm going to lift it up half an inch and say stitch it. And this is the shape that I come out that um, that the ladies are wanting. Um, I believe, I believe that's what they want. So I'm going to come out of Outline Edit, and at this stage, you can leave your grid on, but I don't know why, I just don't like the grid, it sort of gets in my way a little bit. Now, because they are having um, fabric down, I can just put the um, hyperfont straight on, on top. So next, um, let me say the name here, obviously it can be anything you want. Select the font, and I'm going to go for this one called Pharmacy, and I just want it regular. OK. Next, and I want the text to be column stitch as well, so I'm going to finish that. And as you can see, I already practiced, so the last thing that I did um, has held into the into the screen. But to help others, let's bring that down to 60 in size. I've got the spacing set at 8, which is fine. And then I came over here to the frames. And for this arch, it's this frame here. Second one up, second one in from the bottom right corner. And now I'm going to come to my magnifying glass, draw an imaginary box so I can zoom in. And I don't know if you can see, there's a little dot in the middle of the top line and a little dot in the middle of the bottom line. <coughs> Excuse me. So I need to get hold of that dot and lift it up and try and make it parallel with the curve of the top bar. And the same, I'm going to zoom in a bit closer so you can see. You can see that little dot there where I can lift up. And let's come out again to get the curve about right. I can drag the whole thing down so it's centered more. And now I'm going to, oh no, I'm going to come up here to change the color to red. Okay. And I'm also going to come into my embroidery settings and make sure that I've got that on a density of, of, of three is my start point. And I've got some edge walk underlay to go with it. Um, do I want to fill underlay? Um, in this case I won't, but you might want to have some fill underlay. It depends on the thickness of the text that you're using and the name that you're using. So I'm just going to apply that and then stitch it and then close this box. And this is more or less what the, what the ladies are asking for. So I hope that helps if I zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you, you can make any changes to the to the shape that, that you want. So anyway, I hope that helps, guys, and I'll catch you all later. Don't forget to do a file save as, and I would save as a, an FHE file. That way you can come back and edit it later and reuse this same design. Okay, take care, everybody, and bye.